What's up? This is Hayden Jones in association with Hot Boxing Talk and the SA Boxing Buzz. So DJ, you're fighting on the 23rd of April against a guy called Makusha. How do you feel about that fight coming up? No, I feel good, man. Um, it's going to be a good fight. People say it's hard. I'm going to make it easy and uh, make sure that on the 23rd of April, my, f my fight record is going to be 11, 1 and 1. And tell us, have you fought a Southpaw before? I fought a Southpaw, my first and second fight. First and second fights, and uh, how do you feel about that? No, it was okay. My first fight I lost against a Southpaw, second fight I came out, but it wasn't the thing that it was a Southpaw. It was just an off day, and the nerves got me, but I came back, and yeah, that was it. And I've got good Southpaw sparring and everything, but the best sparring actually there is. And uh, yeah, I was for better. Actually, tell us who you're sparring because I'm sure it's very interesting for us who, who you've got in the camp. Yes, man, I've got, I've had different sparring through the whole uh, training camp we've had. Um, I had even of our orthodox guys that were helping me out trying to go southpaw. We actually had even Zolani Tete here. I sparred with him twice. Yeah. It was truly amazing. And uh, I've got Maruti Matalani that I'm sparring with. I've got some Piwe Konko. I've got Iviwe. Uh, yes, and the names go on. Eh? Sort of the best of the best. Guys, all the best of the best, eh? Yeah. Yeah, and okay, so you're fighting at Empress Palace again. That's sort of your, your, your new home now. You've got a big, big crowd support. I mean, how, how good is it to, have, to be the home fighter in this fight? No, that's, that's what's nice. Uh, I love Empress Palace. It's great to fight there. I mean, it was always my dream to fight at Empress Palace as a pro. And uh, yeah, it's like you see dreams come true, eh? Dreams come true, and uh, yeah, yeah. So your record is ten wins, one loss, one draw. Do you do you look at your record much, or you just fight? Like, how do you? No, no, no. I don't look at my record, and like I said, uh, my record is gonna change on the twenty third to eleven fights, to eleven wins. Sorry. Yeah, yeah. And one loss, one draw, and that's how it's gonna stay. Okay, so uh, have you had time to kind of watch your opponent, see what he's like? Have you have you taken any notes? No. Without giving away too much, I mean, what are you expecting? No, I don't really know my opponent. I know he fought my last, uh, my second last opponent. Yeah. And uh, that he he beat him, and that's all I know about the guy I'm fighting now. I don't know how he fights or nothing. All I know is that he's a subway. I mean, news from East London. Obviously, they're very confident. They think this is the guy. You obviously here. You're the guy in Johannesburg. It's like kind of a. East London versus Johannesburg thing and you want to put it to bed that, that, that you're the best between the two of you? Oh, well, there's always expectations of someone and there's always talk about how great someone's going to be but they don't know how good I am. I'm going to show them on the 23rd of April. Yeah, absolutely. So that's, that's about it, DJ. Um, do you want to thank anyone? No, I just want to thank my sponsors. Um, always there for me. Eastern's Hydraulics, uh, CNE and e Engineering and Aurora Designs. Uncle Eric over there, and um, one more, and RDG. RDG. Yeah. Thank you very much, guys.